creator in history. This video introduced Yukio Mishima, most famous novelist, playwright, poet, actor, and film director in Japan. Yukio Mishima, born Kimite Hiroka on January 14, 1925, was a renowned Japanese novelist, playwright, poet, actor, and film director. He is considered one of the most important and controversial figures in modern Japanese literature. Mishima's works often explored themes of death, beauty, sexuality, and the clash between traditional Japanese values and Western influence. Early Life Yukio Mishima was born into a samurai family in the Yotsuya, district of Tokyo, Japan. From a young age, he was immersed in traditional Japanese culture and steeped in the martial arts and classical literature, which had a profound impact on his later works. Mishima's early experiences during World War II deeply influenced his writing as he witnessed the destruction of Tokyo during the firebombing raids. Literary Career Mishima began his literary career while studying law at the University of Tokyo. In 1944, he published his first major work, a collection of poetry titled Hana Zakari no Mori the Forest in Full Bloom, which garnered critical acclaim. His breakthrough as a novelist came with the publication of Confessions of a Mask 1949, a semi-autobiographical novel that explored themes of homosexuality and self-acceptance. Over the course of his career, Mishima wrote numerous novels, short stories, plays, and essays. Some of his notable works include The Temple of the Golden Pavilion 1956, After the Banquet 1960, The Sound of Waves 1954, and The Sea of Fertility, Tetralogy, comprising Spring Snow 1969, Runaway Horses 1969, the Temple of Dawn 1970, The Decay of the Angel 1971. Mishima's writing often combined elements of traditional Japanese aesthetics with a deep exploration of psychological and philosophical themes. His works reflected a fascination with beauty, physicality, and the idealization of death. Frequently centered around characters struggling with their own desires and societal expectations. Political activism. In addition to his literary pursuits, Mishima was known for his right-wing political beliefs and activism. He founded the Shield Society Tadanoke, an ultranationalist group, advocating for the restoration of the emperor's power and the revival of traditional Japanese values. Mishima saw the post-war democracy as a corruption of Japan's cultural heritage and sought a return to a more authoritarian society. On November 25, 1970, Mishima staged a dramatic and highly controversial incident known as the Mishima Incident. He and four members of the Shield Society visited the headquarters of the Eastern Army Command in Tokyo, where Mishima delivered a speech calling for the restoration of imperial power. The speech was met with ridicule and disbelief from the soldiers, and Mishima committed seppuku ritual suicide shortly afterward. About sexuality While Mishima himself was known to be bisexual, his personal views and experiences regarding sexuality were complex and not easily categorized. In Mishima's writing, sexuality is frequently depicted as a powerful and transformative force that can shape individuals and their relationships. His works often delve into the psychological and emotional aspects of sexuality, exploring themes such as desire, repression, and the struggle for self-acceptance. Mishima's novella Confessions of a Mask is particularly notable for its exploration of sexuality. The protagonist, Kaken grapples with his homosexual desires and the need to conform to societal norms. The story delves into the inner conflict between Kaken's true self and the mask he presents to the world. 
Notable works. Yukio Mishima wrote numerous books throughout his career. Here are some of his notable works. Confessions of a Mask. Kemen no Kokohaku, a semi-autobiographical novel exploring themes of homosexuality, identity, and societal expectations. The Temple of the Golden Pavilion Kinkakuji, a novel. Inspired by the real-life burning of the historic Golden Pavilion in Kyoto. Delving into themes of beauty, obsession, and the destructive power of desire. The Sound of Waves Shiosai, a lyrical. Love story set on a remote island, focusing on the purity and resilience of young love. Forbidden Colors Kinjiki. A novel that explores themes of sexuality, desire, and societal norms through the story of a young man involved in complex relationships. Spring Snow Haru no Yuki, the first novel in Mishima's. Acclaimed Sea of Fertility Tetralogy, depicting the story of a love affair set against the backdrop of Japan's changing society during the early 20th century. Runaway Horses Hanba. The second novel in the Sea of Fertility Tetralogy. Focusing on a young man's idealistic pursuit of a nationalist cause during the turbulent years leading up to World War II. The Temple of Dawn, Akatsuki no Terra, the third novel in the Sea of Fertility tetralogy, following the life of a Thai princess and exploring themes of reincarnation and the decay of tradition. The Decay of the Angel, Tenen Gosui, the final novel in the Sea of Fertility tetralogy, exploring themes of mortality, spiritual transformation, and the struggle to find meaning in a changing world. These are just a selection of Yukio Mishima's works, and he wrote many more novels, short stories, and plays throughout his career. Legacy Yukio Mishima's death shocked Japan and the literary world, and it continues to be a topic of intense fascination and debate. His works remain widely read and studied both in Japan and internationally, for their exploration of complex psychological themes and their profound impact on Japanese literature. Despite the controversy surrounding his political views and the nature of his death, Mishima's contributions to Japanese literature have been widely acknowledged. He was nominated three times for the Nobel Prize in Literature and received numerous literary awards during his career. In conclusion, Yukio Mishimo was a prominent Japanese novelist, playwright, and intellectual known for his powerful and controversial works that explored themes of beauty, death, and the clash between traditional and modern values. His literary legacy continues to captivate readers and scholars alike, making him one of the most influential figures in 20th century Japanese literature. Thank you so much friends for watching my video. Do you like these type of videos join comment section.